Everything checks out. Landing in this year. Sleep? Some folk never leave their hometown. Unbreathable atmosphere. For safety, we probably shouldn't stray too far from our ship. taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Bectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? Raw energy? I've never heard that one before. I shouldn't be surprised. The artifacts aren't exactly what you'd call normal. <laughs> true, true. But hey, how else would you describe it? The artifacts are so different, so alien. And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Agreed. Unfortunately, there's no way that I know of to reply. And believe me, I've been trying to gather data on the damn things for years.
Not much, I'm afraid. All I have to show for my efforts are eyewitness accounts, scores of inconclusive metallurgical test results, and wild theories. Frustrating? No. Bewildering? Yes. It would be... Oh, well, an explorer's dream to solve a mystery like this. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk, and for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> it's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. spacer I've seen before. So let me get this straight. You heard a distress call and you flew all the way down here. What are you, some sort of priest or good Samaritan? I didn't know people like you were real, but I got a heap load of problems. And I'm willing to pay my share for the help. I don't know what game you're playing, but I guess I'm in. Used to be four families that list help set up stakes in this system. We rarely saw eye to eye in the best of times, and believe me true, these ain't the best of times. Spacers started raiding and it's been getting worse. Only a matter of time before they end us all. <laughs> Unless you're willing to help some hard-working, pig-headed settlers out. No arguments here. The Spacers have taken out the family's list satellites. So we can't even talk to each other. Isolate and eliminate a classic tale. You fix the Lopez satellite and I'll open a secure channel and we can sync up and get the lay of the land and then get all of our satellites operational. It might be I'm getting caught up in the moment, but I actually feel <laughs> optimistic for once. Thanks.
communications is up. Sending the data on the other satellites. You do hear me, right? Hello? Now that's a weight off my shoulders. It's gonna take some time dealing with someone competent. I don't suppose you want a job working hydroponics. No one ever says yes to that. <laughs> Once you repair the other satellites, I'll open a channel to the other families.
Ready to tackle whatever the star field throws at us. It's about time. Come on, sleepyhead. Yeah, what is it? I'd be happy to carry a few things for you. Okay. Has to be a ship. 
But you, Sam, I'll come over. And Alvin, it's good to hear you. Oh, you're choking me up here. Well, head on over to the rendezvous. And that's the last of them. Stranger, let's meet up on the mayor's ship. I'll square away payment. But I have a feeling this ain't over and there may be further paying work ahead. First things first. You did an honest day's work, you deserve an honest day's pay. Here, with heartfelt compliments. But I expect you know what's coming next. We're not military folk, and I'm not ashamed to say we are out of our depth. I'll pay you more, much more. If you can help kick the spacers out of our system for good, and coordinate our efforts to do so. Right you are. So we're not babes in the woods. Each family has a ship or two and hard men and women that can handle themselves in a firefight. But the root of the problem is, admittedly, a self-inflicted injury. My family was here first, and when Liss sent other families here, perhaps I didn't take to it kindly. Might be I made an odd credit here or there at their expense. Something Lemaire especially has never let me live down. But now we need the Lemaires and the Bandas both, I reckon. Listen, I'm not proud of what I did. But this was my system first. Then Jackie comes lately, arrives, and maybe it rubbed me wrong. But it's ancient history. We gotta evolve or war just fuel for the spacers. I wouldn't hold my breath with Jackie. The band is good folk. Well, hopefully. We need to cooperate now, but also in the future. We need a mutual defense pact. As our new mercenary commander, please talk with Band and Lemaire. Lemaire, God help us, especially we could use. The family's got the most ships and crew by far. If she's a lost cause, Ben and I can muddle through. So you know, 
Albin is a con man and a thief. Associating with the likes of him reflects poorly on your character. Don't be so certain. So here's the deal. Odds are good my crew can hold out against the spacers all by ourselves. If we're gonna band together, I have the most to contribute and the most to lose. The smart play for my interests is the Lemaire's hunker down and outlast the storm. I may not be some sort of military expert, but you can't know that for certain. That... that is a good point. Well... that's certainly true. They're already a headache as is. Well... you might have a point. Hmm... fine. Let Alvin know that I'm willing to try this defense pact for now. Defense Pact gives us a real chance in the future. Hello, stranger. Your work in getting the satellites up? You've done us a good turn. I know it was paying work, but a lot of mercs wouldn't even take a list contract. You here to talk about the Defense Pact? I figured he might. I mean, I agree that right now coming together makes sense, but going forward, it's hard to imagine Jackie and Alvin working together for the long haul without one winding up with a knife in the back. If you say so. Well, the Bandits will join the defense pack. We got one ship operational, another we can patch up. It's not much, but you'll have us when you need us. So is the defense packed in business? Come on, don't keep me in suspense. Wait, she's in? I heard you right. How in the hell did you manage that? Wait, words can do that? Like I said, miracles never cease. So, the sensors have picked up two contact groups, undoubtedly our spacer friends. We don't have many ships, but we can send them with you. Or hold them in reserves, your call. You are... After you deal with the spacers, meet back on my farm. I've got an idea how to find where the spacers are based.
There's a non-zero chance that this planet once thrived with life. Ah, amazing, isn't it? sound. Banda, you owe me 30 credits. You're tougher than I thought. Easy money. So while you were doing that, I used the communication satellites to triangulate some spacer's chatter. You did what? I'm more than just a pretty face. Anyway, there's an old derelict star station the spacers are using as a base. Couldn't say it better myself. There are undoubtedly a lot of spacers there, both ships and men on the station itself. We need to excise this cancer from our system. Every last one of them. 100% agree. So, oh glorious leader, any words of wisdom or inspiration before we embark? So caution's the word of the day. Got it. We need to bring everything we got to bear. There won't be any do-overs on this one. We'll all be waiting for you to jump in. It's a strange feeling, knowing you're living through some real history.
pardon. Those robot pods appear to be intact. Perhaps we should investigate. Searching them, make it quick.
I see our ship is still in one piece. That's some good news, at least. This is gonna be fun! You okay? to carry all that junk. Well, well. It appears these spacers have gotten their hands on a galbank safe.
This? This is the first deep breath I've taken in months. I make no illusions. You did this. And now it's up to us to keep it going. Ain't that a ray of sunshine? The rest of the families and I, well, uh, we chipped in for a reward. I know it's probably a pittance compared to what someone like you makes, but uh, we're just dirt poor farmers and miners just trying to get by. I think I need to shut up now. Don't want to get... Don't you dare. I have my precious reputation to maintain. If you ever are in this system, you come back and visit. We'll give you a warm welcome for the ages. station seen better days. I, I wonder if the UC will ever fully restore it to its former glory. Good to see you. By all means. 